Edinburgh, Texas, are you ready? Yes, we are! Please proceed. Welcome everyone to the 37th Annual All-America City David Tremonta 10K. Runners, are you ready? On your mark, get set. Oh, I am so sorry. I did not see you guys there. I'm Carrie. You're not from around here, are you? Well, welcome to Edinburgh. We are the fastest growing city in the Rio Grande Valley. We've had a population boom of almost 60% over the last 10 years. We're called the Rio Grande Valley because we're located about 10 minutes from Mexico, right along the Rio Grande River. And we are also known as a hometown of heroes because Edinburgh is home to two Congressional Medal uh, recipients. That's Pedro Cano and Freddy Gonzalez. Hurry, this Dr. Riggs! David, you gotta see your lane. I'm talking to my friends. <laughs> We are also home to the University of Texas Edinburgh campus, and we are home to the very first school of medicine that is helping keep our community healthy. Carry yes. the race! Race, right, the race. Well, in Edinburgh, we are a diverse and united familia, and something good is happening here. All right, are you ready? On your mark, three, two, one, and go! <laughs> to meet David Chavana. He's one of the founders of our race. Dave, we have some people visiting Edinburgh today. In Edinburgh, Edinburgh 10K, David Chavana, and go Edinburgh! Yes, sir. <laughs> Guys, can you believe David was 80 pounds overweight and pre-diabetic like many in our community? Running helped him lose weight and feel great. And you wanted the Edinburgh community to also be healthy. That's why we created the 10K race. Now, it's one of the largest 10Ks in Texas with almost 9,000 participants. What's extra special about the race, anybody can participate, regardless of their capabilities. I want you guys to be my good friend, Anthony. Edinburgh has made events like this available to all in our community. I have participated in the Miracle Mile and it's made me become more active and healthy. This is a healthy community and makes me feel like I'm part of a diverse, united familia. Guys, I need to win this race. That's what he thinks. Hey, David. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of exercise, this is our parks and um, recreation director. Sorry, Javi, I'm so sorry. Parks and Rec director. These are our friends visiting Edinburgh. We're talking to them about all the great things that are happening in the city. Bienvenidos. You know, a world class 10K race is community favorite. In 2001, 16% of the kids in our region were identified by our University of Texas Edinburgh campus as having a high rate of obesity and pre-diabetes. That's why we modified a 10K race to include a family fun run. That's a two mile run to make it inclusive for all family members. In order to address our obesity problem, we also partnered with members of our community. Listen to Julian's story, it's awesome. Hi, I'm Julian, a resident of Edinburgh, and I used to weigh 400 pounds. Wow. Luckily, Edinburgh is home to three hospitals and lots of healthcare facilities that provide all kinds of free services to address our obesity problem. One of our hospitals has even partnered with the Cleveland Clinic to raise the standard in obesity treatment and conquer the diabetes epidemic in our region. These are all great solutions that our partners are providing to all of our residents. Yeah, in an effort also to promote activity and inclusiveness, the Capable Kids Foundation also teamed up with the city of Edinburgh. And so now their kids use our wellness facility to play adaptive sports all year long, free of charge, to help keep everyone in our community active and healthy. Hello, I'm Adi, Edinburgh Recreation Supervisor. Our programs help out over 9,000 children and adults stay healthy each year. We're proud to announce that we do have the largest sports program in our region. Nisa here has been in our gymnastics and karate program since she was five years old. She's been a national finalist in gymnastics and a state karate champion. She's impressive, isn't she? She's impressive. This guy's pretty impressive too. This is Tom Reyna, our public works director. Tom, say hi to our friends visiting Edinburgh. Howdy, I'm Tom. I'm the director of public works. My department ensures to keep a safe infrastructure for our community and keep our community mobile and active. This means we take care of our streets, drain ditches, sidewalks, and bike lanes. Our community is very active, but when it rains, parts of our city flood, making our infrastructure unsafe and unhealthy. 
Our, continue, our community continues to grow and managing stormwater has become a great challenge. So we needed to find a joint solution to this problem, so we turned to community members like Mark. Hi everyone, I'm Mark. I grew up in Edinburgh. I'm also part of an ad hoc community taking an aging 60 acre golf course and reimagining it into a vibrant and inclusive community green space, not only for a more active and healthy lifestyle, but also for stormwater management and flood retention. Wow, I have seen our population grow from 25,000 to almost 100,000 today. More rooftops means more flooding, so creating these dual spaces is definitely a win-win for our community as it continues to grow. That's right, Mark. We believe in working with our community partners. Our mayor held a monthly Coffee with a Mayor event and a series of town hall meetings to hear directly from the public. We heard from some of our residents that homes were devastated by flooding, and some even had raw sewage in their homes. Hi, I'm Michelle, and it was horrible what some of our neighbors experienced. We were so glad the city quickly partnered with the county drainage district, local nonprofits like Valley Interfaith, surrounding cities, and our residents to vote on and pass a bond for stormwater improvement. No one ever votes to raise their own taxes, but our bond passed with over 70% approval. Now Edinburgh has 10 drainage projects, which will bring safe and useful infrastructure to over 56,000 residents. Our city did an amazing job of engaging and educating the residents. We felt included, we were informed, and we were empowered to take action together. Yes. You have to meet our friends in the library. They're here too. Hi, Letty, are you here to cheer on the runners? Yes, we are. Hi, I'm Letty. I'm the library director. I know you've been doing a lot of great things about the city of Edinburgh, but you know, a few years back, the city had lost its vibrancy. So much so that some people were even calling it dead in birth. <laughs> <laughs> but that's when the city took action. And in 2010, we developed a downtown master plan. And with input from our residents, we created a symbolic park, a place where festivals and events could breathe life into our downtown area. Then we built a beautiful walkway in the heart of our city that connects our university, our city hall, and our county courthouse. And with help from our community, we developed festivals. Festivals that not only celebrate our history, but they celebrate our growing diversity. Meet some of our friends. Hello, my name is Padini. The Filipino population is growing, with over 25,000 Filipinos calling the Rio Grande Valley home. Edinburgh in particular has welcomed our community and celebrates our culture with our annual Filipino festival, which showcases our colorful costumes and traditions. Hi, I'm Pastor Smith. The city of Edinburgh has celebrated Juneteenth for the last 26 years. The Juneteenth Festival celebrates the end of slavery in America and also brings awareness to our rich culture. Each year our families unite and we celebrate in the city of Edinburgh. Hola, I'm Sophia, but today you can call me Frida. <laughs> Frida Fest is a celebration of the Mexican artist Frida Kahlo that has quickly morphed into a celebration of women empowerment. Go girls! Hello, I'm Dr. Guerra and I work at the University of Texas Edinburgh campus. I'm also a member of the city's cultural activities board. I like to say that in Edinburgh, we celebrate the world. First with Festiva, the Festival of International Books and Arts, and then later in the year with the South Texas International Film Festival, where we showcase our local talent and filmmakers from around the world. Oh, but don't forget, our festivals are also outs of this world. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we even celebrate extraterrestrial. Me and my friend Cosmo, he hosts our UFO festival. And now we're one of the top 10 UFO and alien lovers festivals in the world. <laughs> So with over 34 annual festivals and, and events, we have changed our community for the better. And currently, we're conducting a community survey to gather information on what our residents would like to see in the next 10 years. So what was once dead and burned is now a vibrant and active community. <laughs> about our health, that responds to our community's needs, and also embraces the diversity of all of our residents. We are family. We are Edinburgh. We're something good.